Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Haltech Q&A, where your problems become our answers. Our first question today comes from Rodney C. Will the Elite Series ECU work on a motorcycle? Oh, well, thanks for the first question, Rodney, and the answer is yes. The Elite Series will most certainly work on motorcycles. I recommend the Elite 550 Series ECU due to its tiny size and because it's completely waterproof. It also has four injector drivers and four ignition drivers to run a four-cylinder engine in full sequential mode. This ECU will be perfect for any amount of engine work, supercharging, turbocharging, or adding a power adder like nitrous. Our next question today comes from Harvey, and he asks, can you run a V12 on an Elite 2500, given that it's got eight ignition and eight injector outputs? Hi Harvey. Yes, you can use the Elite 2500 series on a V12. We do this by operating the engine in half cycle mode. What this means, is that we fire the ignition system in wasted spark mode. So we fire a spark on the cylinder coming up to top dead center compression and the cylinder coming up to top dead center exhaust at the same time. Several manufacturers do this with examples like Mitsubishi's 4G63 engine, Toyota's 5VZ series, and many Chrysler four cylinder models. We also fire the injection in semi sequential mode, which means we fire two injectors at the same time as well. In summary, this means we only need six ignition outputs and six injector outputs to run your V12. Our last question today comes from Val, and he asks, do you offer support for variable lift control such as Honda's VTEC, uh, Nissan's VVL, or Mitsubishi's Maybach? Well, Val, uh, the answer to this question is yes, but it goes a little bit deeper than that. There's actually three questions in your one question there. The Honda VTEC uses two different camshaft profiles and the ECU switches between a low and a high camshaft depending on engine RPM and load. So yes, we support this type. Nissan's VVEL system uses a DC stepper motor and a mechanical fulcrum system in order to change the amount of valve lift depending on the ECU's mapping. We support this type by interfacing with the Nissan control module. Mitsubishi's Myvec adjusts the amount of camshaft advance through an oil pressure controlled cam gear. The ECU targets a specific cam angle versus a table of engine load and RPM and can adjust the camshaft by around 40 degrees. We also support this type of cam control. So of the three you've mentioned, absolutely, we support them all. Well, that's it for today. As always, thanks very much for watching and keep the questions coming in. You can put them in the comments below if you like. As always, my name's Scott and I'll see you next time.